now. Hello family, this is yours truly Dr. Charles and I am excited that you have joined me today. Uh, we are on our way to Jamaica for the Festival of Miracles. We have our wonderful host, Bishop Courtney and Pastor Nadine McLean. They're looking forward to, uh, to hosting us for an epic, epic time of miracles. The team is coming and we have Pastor Donna with me and it is going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting. Um, I want to make sure you guys can be online to view some of the miracles that will happen there. And uh, I, I, I hope you can, I can get some of you to come on live today. We are on our way, we are in Philadelphia right now. So I want to make sure if you're live, just let me know your heart. I want to make sure I can see, I see we have some people on now. Wonderful, I see, see have some people on. So I, I'll be talking to you about the economy of movement, economy of movement. I, I had a thought the other day, and the thought was simply, how can I maximize what I do and minimize what I do? I mean, everyday life, is, um, I hope you can hear me just fine. Every day it seems like life gets very busy and we are always running around. How can we talk about the economy of movement, economy of time, how we can maximize what we do with minimum waste, with minimum effort. And I'll share, with that, I'll sh share that with you a little bit today. So we're gonna give a moment for others to join me. And I know most people normally will be joining me on the, the Facebook pages, but uh, just a little surprise and a hello to some of you. And I know you're kind of surprised I'm on now. I'm supposed to be traveling, but uh, I hope you can hear me just fine. I see we have some people that are already on. I give you a moment to join me. And uh, I am, I'm with Pastor Donna. We are in Philadelphia. We are in Philadelphia. And um, I see we have more people joining us. This is a surprise. We didn't tell you guys we're going to be sh sh sharing some things today. But I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited you have joined us today. Day. I'm going to share this on some of the some of our Facebook pages. Now, you can tell we in the first class lounge it's kind of noisy, a lot of excited people. So uh, bear with me. It, this is going to be great. I know some of you will be joining me later, and I see um, I see there are more people joining me now. We're going to give you a moment for more people to join because I want to talk to you about economy of movement, economy of what you do, maximizing what you do and minimizing waste. I hope you can join me today. It is going to be epic. You get yourself ready for something good to happen to you today. So I want you to share this with others on Facebook and uh, let's see who can get in touch with me today. Hallelujah. I see we have Lassine Jacob. We have Deborah. Uh, now she says Deborah. Okay. <laughs> and we have Kay. God bless you. I'm so glad you joined me. And Stevens here. I haven't seen you guys in a while. I'm going to have Ernest. Thank you for joining me. I'll be talking to you about the economy of movement. How can you minimize your movement and maximize your output? I think that's something we need to learn. Life gets busy and sometimes we find ourselves doing things that are redundant in nature and then waste a lot of time. But I'll share in detail with you later on in Jamaica. We are on our way there, and uh, I tell you, it's going to be fun. So, um, what, what, what do I mean by the economy of movement? Being busy does not equate effectiveness. You can be very busy, but not very effective. That's what I'm talking about. That means you can go up and down trying to accomplish a lot of things when you could have done that with one clean movement. This is something that the Holy Spirit was speaking to me. He said, the church has been doing a lot of, a lot of movement, but little impact. That a lot of people have been wasting a lot of time with a lot of movement, no progress. But God is releasing something in you that will cause you to minimize the movement, but maximize your output. It is very vital to learn how to do that. The economy of resources, that means you can use limited resources and maximize what you produce with it. The economy of time. I'm sharing this this week, very much so, and I want you to join me, and it is going to be wonderful. And um, I, I'm just kind of whetting your appetite a little bit, getting you excited about what I'm, I'm going to be sharing later on. And um, we have uh, Barbara O'Neill. God bless you. I'm glad you joined me today. We are going to be coming back. Um, and um, 
Let me see some that are on there. It, I'm so excited. I see we have more people that have joined. Now, I'm talking about learning how to minimize your movements. Learning how to minimize what you do and maximizing the output of it. What do I mean by minimizing or economy of movement? Do you realize that sometimes people will take one thing and go a distance and then come back and then take a second thing instead of taking everything at once and moving and having a system that you can move everything and not repeat the movement. You see, time is the currency of life. In movement, you have time and you have a distance that you cover with that movement. In life, it's the same thing. We have time and we have a distance that we want to run, that we want to accomplish a lot of things. So how do we maximize what we do? Number one, create a system where you're looking for efficiency in your movement. Create a system where you're looking for efficiency in your movement. How redundant are your movement? Can you cut one or two steps out of your movement to get some good results? Second thing you want to do is always do a review. A review of the time it takes to get things done. It's very important you find out, are you best using the resources you have, the time you have, which is a currency of life, are you using it to the best of your abilities, or are you just wasting it thinking that things will fall in place? Things don't fall in place. You set a system and the things that are set in place will be in place. Things don't just happen. They happen because you have a system that works. Okay, I hope you understand what I'm talking about. And we have Lewis. <laughs> I see Pastor Victoria. I see David. I'm glad you guys are on board with me today. So uh, I hope you, you're following what I'm talking about. And we have Prophet Matthias. Matthias. I haven't seen in a while. All the way from Sweden and Denmark. God bless you, man of God. And um, all of you that have joined me. I'm talking about understanding the economy of movement, the economy of movement, what happens to you, how you can maximize every movement and minimize repetitiveness. You don't want to repeat certain things that you've mastered. You want to graduate to the next thing and maximize what you're doing. And um, I see in Bartadam, in Bartadam, by the way, in Bartadam, you have a great book. I enjoy, I'm enjoying your book. It is great, great, great. You guys got to get that book. It is a wonderful, wonderful book. And we have Fengi all the way from Indonesia. I'm so glad you guys have joined me today. I'm talking about the economy of movement. I, for those that are joining me right now, I told you that a couple of days ago, the Holy Spirit spoke to me. Just this word just came to my spirit. The economy of movement. That means have minimum movement for maximum out output. Minimum movement. That means if I'm going to move my arm like this, I should move it and every movement I make, there should be a maximum result I'm getting out of it. Instead of just making movement, you see, I said the key word, the key phrase is, you can be very busy, but never effective. You can be going around doing a lot of things, but not really making a headway. But when you begin to find how to maximize every move you make and then you begin to minimize the redundancy and the waste that's created in the system guess what will happen until then you will not be able to have the economy of movement see so the things i'm telling you right now it's going to help you a lot it's going to help build you up and it's going to set you in a place where you're getting maximum result we are on our way now to jamaica with uh, dr donna and uh, we are very excited about what God is doing. And uh, we can't wait to see you all at the Festival of Miracles. This will be in uh, Spanish Town, 55A, Old Harbor Road in uh, Spanish Town. And uh, uh, we have a uh, wonderful host. We have uh, Bishop uh, Courtney McLean and Pastor Nadine McLean. They'll be hosting us. And for those of you in Jamaica, you can't miss it. I'm coming. Papa is coming home. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. So we have to understand what that means. When we talk about the economy, I see Nisha is on. Wonderful. Have you again. God bless you. We have, I have all my family. You guys are on board today. I'm excited. I'm talking about how do I minimize my movement and maximize my output? How can you do that? 
one of my areas of uh, interest in engineering was operation analysis and modeling. And one of the things I, I was very interested in is how can I look at a system, remove inefficiencies in it, remove inefficiencies in it, and still maximize my output. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So, but I'll be telling you all this this week, get ready, it's gonna be glorious. The economy of movement. I see more people are join, joining in now. I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Thank you all for joining me today. I, I, I'm going to keep it very short because we, we are in Philadelphia, beautiful Philadelphia. We love this airport. We are the, at the uh, first class lounge. Great place. I thought I'd come and talk to you a little bit about what God is doing. And uh, we just came back from glorious meetings all the way from South Africa in uh, Austin, Texas, in Nigeria. I want to thank all of those that came to those meetings. It was glorious. We look forward to something amazing happening in Jamaica. I see, I see, I see a lot of, a lot, a lot more people have joined us today. Well, praise God. I hope that you can share this. Think about those thoughts. The economy of movement. The economy of movement. So I'll be sharing with you strategies to maximize your output and minimize waste of resources, time, and effort. This will be my gift to you this week. And don't forget, Power School is coming. From tomorrow till the 9th, from the 4th to the 9th of this month, we are in Spanish Town in St. Catherine in Jamaica. We are on our way to Jamaica right now. And uh, I know Dr. Donner, she's, she's excited about it. I'm excited about it. Bring the sick the dead and the dying, we believe in miracles. And I know that God will do an amazing work in you. For those of you that are outside uh, Jamaica, if you can fly in, fly in. And um, expect miracles as you watch online. Hopefully we can bring that online to you too. We have our wonderful host again. Uh, we have Bishop Courtney McLean and Pastor Nadine McLean. And the church is called the Worship and Faith International Fellowship. It is 55A Old Harbor Road in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, Jamaica. Every night we start at seven o'clock, and tomorrow we have four services. It's gonna be fun, and I tell you, it's gonna be fun. But every other night, we're gonna be there. And we have Bishop Joseph Bloomer, it's gonna be coming, and uh, it's, it's gonna be a fun time. We're gonna be having a great time in Jamaica. So thank you all for joining me today, and uh, we are gonna be having a great time every single day, starting from Monday, I'll begin to hatch out the details of the economy of movement. Thank you all for joining me today. Keep praying for us on our way to Jamaica. We're expecting great miracles, signs, and wonders. I want to say I love you, and I'll see you guys soon. We are very excited. And greetings from Mama D. Pastor Dada is waving. <laughs> I know. So you guys get yourself ready. Something good is happening here. Hello, family. Love you. <laughs> love you guys. <laughs> We'll see you guys very, 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 very soon. Hallelujah. I see we have a wearing hunter, my dear friend. God bless you. God bless you. I love you and love the work you're doing around the world. And I'm very excited about it. Thank you all for joining me today. Okay. So I'll see you guys. We'll talk about the economy of movement. God bless you.